Well, hello. I'm, uh, I, I'm actually in Boulder, Colorado right now. I have uh, some friends of mine who bought a house here in Boulder and it had texture all over the walls, every ceiling, thick, thick texture. I came out here in July and I did a lot of skimming and then what they did is they opened up all of these walls. Matter of fact, I'll, I'll take my other camera and I'll show you with, I'll show you with all the walls that they opened up and I'll put these two together. But, uh, but they opened up all the walls and they tried to get somebody to come in here and do all of the drywall work and the, <laughs> the prices that they were getting were just incredibly high. So they asked me what I would charge and I told them how much uh, and I want driving time and everything else. So I drove from Chicago to Boulder, Colorado this week and I've done all of this work here now and then uh, see what's today. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow I should be all done. I'll have it all skimmed, sanded, done, ready to paint. I've got all of the walls smooth now. I understand every wall in this house had a heavy texture to it. So I'm going to take you around and show you that stuff too. But my biggest problem and what I get a lot of questions about is the color of my mud. Do I color the mud? Do I tint the mud? What's up with this yellow mud that I'm using? And, and I just wanted to show you. This is what I, I brought this from home. I had some, some mud with me, and if you look, it says tinted. So I get this plus three, it's got a red top to it, and it's called tinted plus three. Uh, for the life of me, they don't carry it here. They do not carry it here in Boulder. I searched high and low, Lowe's, Home Depot, I looked all over for it. You know, I don't know what's up with USG, but all I can get is these little tiny boxes. Now. Look at the size difference of these boxes, how small this box is. And this box here is 3.5 gallons. This is 4.5 gallons. There's a gallon more in here than there is in this one. So all I can find is, is these little boxes of plus three. It's white. I mean, it's white mud, uh, but you use what you can find. So that's all I can find here. That's what I used. But I did have a lot of plus three of my own. Uh, that I brought with me and I did a lot of stuff so let me show you real quick I'm gonna pop this camera off flip it around let me show you you see how that's yellow because that's the mud that I brought in but if you look at these screws up here they're white they're white and uh, and these are all the walls that they took out but look at this view oh my gosh isn't this a gorgeous view out this window this great big picture windows with the mountains out there, just absolutely beautiful. So, uh, but that's what I've been doing. I've been working in Boulder. Uh, it's I've been working in Boulder, and it's it's quite fun. It really is. Uh, but my gosh, I mean, I. Couldn't find, I, now I hear what everybody's talking about. Hey, where are you getting the yellow mud? Where are you getting the yellow mud? Yeah, I, I know now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not everywhere. Uh, so, hey, USG, if you're gonna watch this, get your tinted mud everywhere. I, honestly, it, it, if you're doing smooth wall and finish wall, the tinted mud makes it so easier to see pock marks, edges. Uh, it just makes it so much easier to see. I can stand back and look at tinted mud and say, oh, I need to touch that up. I've got to walk up sometimes and touch the wall when it's all white and say, all right, where's the wall? Because I'm I'm white blinded, I'm snow blind, and I can't even focus in on where the wall is. So, all right, that's, that's all I have. You guys have a great day. Well, hello. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you for watching these videos. I just... I'm asking you to subscribe, to share, help support it with Patreon. You can subscribe up here with this icon. Keep watching, keep supporting. I can't keep doing these videos without all your support. You guys have a great day.